Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Alright, so from the title you can see today we're going to be talking about moisture. Talking about how to keep your hair from being dry, brittle, and all of that stuff. Nobody wants dry hair. We're all looking to find ways to keep our hair moisturized and healthy and soft. So I want to share a few little tips with you that I have today. And if you are new, thank you for stopping by. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on your way out so you can stay notified and keep up to date with me. I am going to fashion week tomorrow so be on the lookout for lots of fashion posts on my blog and a lookbook coming real real soon all right so when we talk about moisture there are three like key components that come to mind when I think about moisture and that is steam or heat that is water based and that is oil based so the water base is pretty much where that moisture starts from so anything that is water based or water itself you really want to add that into your regimen so when we think about water I like to personally use it on a daily basis so a daily kind of moisture routine Now, this doesn't mean you have to wash your hair every day or drench your hair in water every day this just means that you want to apply some type of water or water based product on a daily basis so in my case I have been co-washing every day or every other day and in my routine what I do I use the water first of course warm water to open up those cuticles and then I go in with a water-based product which could be a cream or a leave-in you know I've been loving spray leave-ins right now so I'll go in actually with both I've been using a leave-in spray and also a cream product from um, Uncle Funky's daughter it's really light but it is, is water based and it's called good hair so I will put that onto my hair and then oils so your sealants sealants are really really important because that is what's going to lock the moisture into your hair so when you apply the water or the cream or the water based product that's all well and good but if you do not use a oil to seal it's pretty much going to evaporate and your hair is going to start to appear and feel dry and dull again so the sealant is really like the finisher to seal everything in and I like to use my oil mix which I have made a DIY on I think it's right here on the side <laughs> and um, Pretty much it depends on like your hair type and texture so if you have really thick hair then I would go for those really thick oils to kind of absorb into your hair but if you are more on the finer side or you don't have a problem with products absorbing into your hair then light oils are pretty much okay to use it's really up to your discretion I'm not really here to tell you what products to use I'm just kind of trying to point you in the right direction on how to use them pretty much your regimen now like I said daily moisture or a daily routine is really important instead of just kind of using these steps one day and then doing that once out of the week you really want to try to focus on using something that you can use daily to keep that moisture into your hair especially curly hair because our cuticles are not flat so it's a little harder for moisture to stay in the hair once it's there so you don't have to wash your hair every day but if that is your preference then by all means but what you can do is use a spray bottle just spritz your hair really lightly or use a spray leave-in kind of like a revitalizer uncle funky's daughter has a really great one called thirsty curls so it won't really mess up your style if your style allows you to kind of spray water onto your hair if you have your natural curls out or you're just doing a bun or a sleek style even if you have a protective style in like braids or faux locks I would still recommend spraying a little bit of that leave-in or putting something on your scalp and around your hair and then like I said once you first start off with your water then your cream product you could go heavier on this if you have thicker hair or something that really needs to absorb and if you have thinner hair you can go for more like the hair milk if you don't want to use a heavy butter or cream and then you want to follow up with your sealant so um, coconut oil jojoba oil sweet almond oil any of those oils would definitely work so now I want to kind of touch on the heat or the steam factor. This is going to kind of give you that extra boost. If you notice or ever been to the hair salon when you have like that leave-in conditioner or conditioner still sitting in your hair, you go under the dryer, when you come out your hair is just feeling buttery soft and smooth. That is because of the heat and the steam from the dryer. So I would highly recommend you incorporating either a steamer or if you have a hooded dryer that would be great as well. And what you could do with your deep conditioner 
there or a leave-in sit under there for about 30 minutes and that will increase the moisture factor so your cuticles will open up when it's in contact with warm water or steam so that is the perfect place to start you can actually do this I would say once a week I don't think you would have to do the steam or the heat part daily but this can kind of be your jump start to your moisture routine so you could wash your hair condition sit under the dryer or your steamer and that will kind of get the cuticles open and ready to receive that moisture then you want to follow up with your creams or your water-based product and then you want to seal it with your oil so your sealants your jojoba oil your coconut oil things like that and then proceed to style however you're going to style I think definitely using these three steps in order consistent basis will allow your hair to retain that moisture and it will over time be less and less dry and brittle. We all go through those stages where our hair is dry but there's always ways to kind of revamp and pick it back up and consistency is key. If you only moisturize your hair once a week, it's not going to really look moisturized for those few days throughout the week. You have to kind of see how you can incorporate daily moisture into your routine and that's what's going to in return give you that long lasting moisture in your hair so really easy really simple if you did not already know these few steps i hope you guys try it out and keep it up and see if your hair responds well to this kind of steam moisture and sealant kind of routine and hopefully your dry hair will kind of subside so thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in the next one and until next time bye Look at, look at like breeze.